last Harry Potter book. I like Harry Potter, and it's the only book I've actually the only series of books that I've read. Hungry Caterpillar doesn't count. <laughs> It's so depressing. Right. Oh, Denise, my loving sister. Do I know you? Can't say that didn't hurt. Her. <sighs> I just need to borrow some of sugar. Borrowing. She's already been borrowing since she was a little girl. It's just wrong. It's not her fault. It's what sisters do. When I was a little girl, I was always borrowing. What? Look, it's only a cup of sugar. I couldn't find any sugar, so I took 50 quid instead. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's an excuse to come round. She might be lonely. Why is she lonely? Her husband did die in a ski accident. Who? Pepe the Frog's legs? Pierre de Nephew. I thought he died in a car accident. He was driving back from the ski lodge and he had a car crash and the ski went right through him. Ironically it's one of the three things covered in his, in his insurance. So she'd have got some money, she'd have been fine, she'd be happy. Does she use the money to pay back the hospital since she's been in a coma for the past three years? She was in a coma? Is it your family newsletter? We have a newsletter. Look, Peter, the point is she's lonely and depressed. We should invite her to stay for a while. Fine. Denise, would you like to stay with us for a while? With you and your stupid idiots. No, thank you. See, she's fine. She's not lonely. Tea, anyone? Um, oh God, what was I reading? I read something, what did I read? The last book I read was a book called Wolf Island by Darren Sham. <laughs> the book with no name, I think. That, is, that series, they are amazing. I love it, I'm addicted. It took me, what? It took me less than 24 hours to read. It's by Anonymous. It's, it's about this uh, fictional place called Santa Mondega. Where the, it's, it's Halloween, so there's, there's, like, there's a hitman dressed as El Elvis. That's, that's hilarious. And um, there's this policeman and there's um, a, a special operatives guy come from New York or something. And um, there's this book in this library with, you get from the title of the book, no name. So um, there's this lunar eclipse and there's this funky necklace thing. And there's a vampire gang lord after the necklace, before the lunar eclipse. Um, but there's, there's this book and this book seems to come wherever this necklace is. And so, but whoever reads the book gets killed by the bourbon kid. Yeah. It, it sounds complicated but it's really good. It's really funny. Bye! Car. Car. Car! Have an ambulance, please. <laughs> you know, it's probably the first time I've had two women in the house at once. You think it when I'm thinking?
Probably not. Okay, drink your tea. <laughs> yeah, drink that tea. It's not a zoo. The last book I read was Night Watch by Terry Pratchett. Although today I did also read another book put, um, written by our lovely Brett Barnett. That's quite cool as well. That's called Milk, just so you know. Leanne, stop popping into frame. <laughs> I didn't realise what you were doing. Sorry. <laughs> it was about one of the, the main commander of the watch going back in time. What's your favourite book? Favourite book? That's very difficult. At the moment, I think... Mm, either Going Postal or Making Money. Also Terry Pratchett books. Hit me. Okay. Hit me. Okay. Hit me. Roy, are you sure you understand how this game works? Hit me. <laughs> 